In today's video, I'm going to be finishing the mining system tutorial that I started two months ago and never finished. So we're just going to quickly recap what we've done and now what we need to do to finish it. We started off by creating a time system where we made a whole bunch of common events. One to count the frames, one to turn the frames into seconds, the seconds into the minutes, and the minutes into the hours. We then imported some assets into the engine so we could have a working clock display the accurate time. Then we made the event that changed the tint of the screen to represent night and day based off the very in the clock. That was the end of the first tutorial. We had created a day and night system. Then we moved on to the mining system. We created a physical event where the player could go and interact with and mine some ore. My dog started to bark and I left it in the video. We created a variable called mining node to measure the amount of time it's been since the ore was mined. It would count down from three using a common event where we placed our nodes to respawn. On zero, bam, the nodes respawned. It's been two months since that video. What happened? I was contacted by the FBI as part of a top secret training task force where I trained the newly sanctioned United States Space Force. On our maiden voyage to Mars, we were attacked by moon aliens where I was taken prisoner. During my time, I was forced to teach them all how to use RPG Maker. Unbeknownst to the aliens, I was teaching them wrong. I taught them how to create an entire game and managed to convince them they didn't need to playtest it. They finished and shipped their game to their home planet, the moon, selling 40 billion copies. At the start of their game, there was an endless loop where the opening cutscene would just play over and over again. They went insane and their ship started to explode. I managed to get onto one of the escape pods and crash landed into the Atlantic Ocean. Welcome back to Earth like a hero. I stopped for some pizza on the way home before sitting down to record this video. Sorry about that. And if you love RPG Maker tips, tricks, tutorials, and just general discussion about RPG Maker, then scroll down and hit subscribe and the bell icon so you get notified whenever I upload a new video. I am incredibly sorry for that two minute intro. Wow. So first thing we need to do is establish a couple of variables. What we want is mining level and mining experience. Then what we want to do is right at the very end of all this, we're going to create a control variable. We're going to change the mining experience and we'll just add four. Right after that, we're just going to run a common event. Where the f is the common event? How can I not find this? I've literally used this for over 10 years, 10 years of experience and I can't find, there it is. And right under node respawn, which is 15, we'll click 14. We'll just run that common event. We'll jump over to the common event. We'll just call this mining level. Now what we're going to do here is we're going to add a bunch of conditional branches. We're going to be if mining experience is equal to 10, show some text. You leveled up. Then what we're going to do is we're going to change the variable of mining level and we're just going to add one. So every 10 experience points you're going to gain one mining level. Finally we're just going to set the mining experience variable back down to zero. Now that's all well and good, but how are we ever going to actually see our mining level? Well, we're gonna create another common event and we'll call it mining license. And I actually have in pictures, I've just imported this mining license that I created in Photoshop here. So what we're going to do in our mining license, we're just going to say show picture. It's gonna be picture number four and we'll just show the mining license. Now it's going to originate in the upper left, its current designation is 00. zero. We're just going to have to tweak that around a bit. Now that's all well and good. Last thing we need to do before we test it out in the engine, we're going to have to create an item. So we're just going to create item 7. This will be mining license. We'll have the icon be just this letter. It's going to be a key item and you can't use it on anyone. It's not consumable, but you can use it in the menu screen. And over in effects, we're just going to go over to other, common event, and we're going to run mining license. Hit apply. Now lastly, we need to give the player a mining license. Luckily, I've already done this in a chest over here. So let's jump into game and test that out. Now we'll open up this chest to get the mining license. Now if we open up our menu, go to item, over in key item, there we have a mining license. If we hit okay, it's going to show a mining license in the top left corner of the screen. Now nothing else is going to happen at the moment because we haven't designated it to happen. So I'm just going to mess around with the numbers um, and we'll get back to it. There we go, I've set it to 200-200 and it's appearing in the very middle of the screen. 
Next thing we need to do, and look, a lot of this is going to be trial and error. We're going to make a conditional branch, right? And what it's going to say is if mining level is equal to one, then what we're going to do is show a picture. And the picture we're going to show will be number five. And we're just going to click the one we used for the times, the hours 001, we're going to do that. And we'll just designate that a specific location. Again, we're going to have to jump in and out of game you know, tweaking the different locations of where it appears on the screen. But let's just jump in and test that out. You'll also notice that I have this girl over here just talking to her it sets the mining level to one because we haven't set it to anything. So she'll just say, hey, your mining level is now one. Let's jump back in and tweak it. There we go, now you can see that you've got level in the top left hand corner and right next to it is 01, so that shows your mining level. One more thing we're going to do is I've got another graphic in here as well, and that's called tin ore. And if we just have a look at that, what we're going to do is have this image appear on top of the license if you're level 1. So we'll jump back over to the common event and we'll, where it says show picture, we're going to show another picture. This is going to be picture number 6. We're going to show the tin ore and again we're going to mess around with the variables until we get it in the right location. There we go, now we have on our mining license the fact that we can mine tin ore, which is awesome. So with these common events, under mining license and mining level, every time we get 10 experience it's going to up our mining level. Now under mining license we can actually see our level. So what we've got here is if mining level is 1. All I'm going to do is copy this and paste it, and instead of 1 it'll be 2. Now if mining level is 2, what you can do is you can add more pictures of the different types of ore you can mine, but as well as we're just going to change this instead of being 1 to 2. And for testing sake I'll just create an NPC right here who's going to up our mining level for us. Alright, so we have our mining license now, she's going to make us mining level 1, he is going to make us mining level 2. Let's use the item, and now you can see instead of showing 1, we're showing 2. Now at the moment this is just going to stay on the screen because we haven't really dictated that the image needs to be taken away. So that's what we'll do next. All we need to do for that is dictate how long we want it to stay on screen. So right at the very bottom we're going to add a wait function. If we wanted this to stay on the screen for say 5 seconds it would be 5 times 60. Come on, you guys know your maths. That's 300 frames guys. After the 300 frames plays what we're going to do is we're going to erase picture. We're going to erase picture 4, 5 and 6. Now let's make sure that actually works. Alright, so we're now mining level 1. Let's open this up. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then it disappears. We can do that again. We're mining level 1. Now we know that our mining license disappears, we're going to go back over to our mines. And we need to see if everything falls into place. So the event we have on the rocks that we're mining is if the mining level is equal to or greater than 1, it's going to do the mining stuff. It's going to give us 4 experience and then it's also going to change the mining level and that's going to do that through the common event. Running through the common event, it's going to say if mining experience is 10, then you leveled up plus 1 mining level and make the mining XP back to 0. Just before we test that out, here's a quick word from our sponsor. By the way, the sponsor of today's video is myself. I have an itch.io page where I craft and release assets. So as you can see, I've got some free assets here as well as some paid assets like these sci-fi doors that I've just created for $1.49. In this pack you've got six different animated assets that you can use for doors, sci-fi and modern doors. It means so much to me when you guys support me through itch downloads. Link is in the description, get yourself some sci-fi doors. And thank you very much. Okay, so now we're standing in front of the ore. If I check my mining license, I am currently mining license level 1. Now I'm just going to mine some ore. I've mined some ore. Something's f***ed up. Ah, I see where we're f***ed up. 
And what I've got is if mining experience is equal to 10. Just for easy sake, I'm just going to change that to if mining experience is greater than or equal to 10. So your players might lose one or two experience here and there. Jumping back into the game, this should now work perfectly. Okay, we're back in the mines and I'm just going to check that our mining license is showing that we are currently mining license level 1. Wait for a few seconds. Alright, we're going to mine some ore. And then going over to this last one, we'll just double check our license. We are still mining license level 1. After I mine this ore, it should run the event telling us that we've leveled up and our mining license should change. You've mined tin ore. You leveled up. Now if I load up our mining license, BAM! Mining license a level 2. Oh, and uh, hey guys, I've also got a ton more videos that will be appearing to your left. So if you guys want to check out some more videos by me, then click on them. But don't forget to hit the subscribe button on the right hand side of the screen. I will see you guys in the next video.